Hello everybody. So now I'm going to present you the operation of this uh, teletype uh, crypto system. Uh, this is a device that I made in cooperation with Electro Magazine. So this is a one-time pad crypto device. So what you can see here is one seven inch seven inch laptop. Uh, we're running on Android system and in this system this is used only as a terminal uh, for communication with this crypto device. So the crypto device is powered by a USB cable and this white Ethernet cable is used for connection to the terminal. So the crypto device does all the critical encryption and decryption operations uh, inside itself separated from other uh, computer operations from the terminal from uh, also from uh, the walkie-talkie that is used as a radio link so we are going to present the online encrypted radio teletype mode so uh, messages are typed on the terminal uh, they are passed to the crypto device for encryption and on this crypto shield that is mounted on top of Elector Uno R4 board with Atmel Mega 328PB uh, microprocessor unit this is, uh, this is a variation of Arduino designed by Elector with a much uh, better uh, microcontroller unit so the messages pass through here. The uh, encryption with one time pad is done inside microcontroller. This micro SD card that you can see here contains all the keys, all the one time pads for encryption and decryption. And, and once uh, the encrypted message is created, it is passed to a uh, modem. I, have a, I also have an audio modem here on this. Uh, on this crypto shield PCB audio modem with frequency shift keying uh, modulation operating at 1200 bit per second and those audio signals are then passed to the walkie talkie and also the other way around from walkie talkie to modem to decryption and to the terminal when receiving those messages so let's uh, now let's prepare the system. Let's prepare the system for the operation in online teletype mode. So let's initialize the system first. Check the contents of this SD card. My name is Bob. This is my SD card. This is my wife's name, Alice. So the key file contains the one-time pad. STT file contains status file that is used for checking the position of key pointer and calculating uh, various uh, checksums so we can prevent some tampering on some unintentional changing of parameters. So let's select option number two, choose the contact and type contact name. This is Alice. So here we have the checksum. Uh, Check, calculation of checksums and comparison. So now we can see that everything seems to be okay. We have about uh, one, uh, about uh, 16 megabytes of random numbers, and only about five megabytes have been used up until now. So let's continue. And before I go to online teletype mode, I am going to call my wife to see see if she is ready. We can use the walkie-talkie. This uh, walkie-talkie, just in a in a normal in a normal unencrypted audio voice uh, mode. So it is operating on 446 megahertz on uh, on a standard uh, PMR band. So let's call her and see if she is ready. Hello, Alice. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. So let's go. Let's go to let's go to encrypted mode. Connect your uh, connect your device to the walkie talkie, please. Okay, let's go. All right.
start the terminal. Okay, so my terminal is now ready. I'm going to connect to the audio port of my walkie talkie, earphone and microphone port. And also the PTT push to talk button command coming from the uh, from the crypto device to start the transmission on the walkie talkie. Alright, so thank you. I'll check if you can see everything. Alright, everything seems to be ready. So now I'm going to start online teletype mode. So, here we have one incoming message, which seems to be okay. And I also, so I received one message from her, and there has probably been another one. This one is successfully decrypted. If the key pointer search takes too long, I can use the Maybe there has been some interference or something, but I can stop this search and simply continue by pushing, pushing the soft reset button. Alright, key pointer not found, but doesn't matter. Now I'm going to send one more message. OK means message successfully received, and now I'm waiting for decryption. And decryption was successful on a remote terminal. OK means uh, successful reception of encrypted message on remote terminal, and DC means su successful decryption. So there has been some interferences on the radio, uh, there have been some interferences on the radio link, but if the message is successfully decrypted on her side, then it means that key pointers are now well synchronized, so we can continue. Oh, incoming message, decryption, correct the key pointer. What are you doing? Reading Shakespeare's sonnets, of course. So, I received, I obviously have a successful decryption, and this is, of course, another layer of encryption, reading Shakespeare's sonnets, of course, I know what it means. So, this, we are gonna exchange a few more messages, and this will be, so just to prove that it works. Once again, message, encrypted message successfully received, and this DC means uh, that the message was successfully decrypted, uh, decrypted upon reception. Incoming message. 
key pointer correct message decrypted so seems like everything is clear secret information have been exchanged and now I'm going to end the session Okay, so the first transmission was not successful and the remote terminal detected the CRC checksum error. Then the message was repeated, second transmission was okay and the decryption was successful.